Welcome to the Spyro Show. I'm Cherie, and this is April, and we are the, the Spyro, Spyro Show. Yo, check it straight yeah. out of this time. Stop, is stop, stop. The Spyro Show. This is the Spyro Show. This is the Spyro Show. This is the Spyro Show. Yeah, yeah. about to kick it with April and Cherie. Turn up your TV and listen up closely. About to kick it with April and Cherie. Turn up your TV. Okay, today at our topics, we'll be discussing Oprah and we'll also be um, discussing contraception. And these topics are topics that were given to us on our Facebook page from um, our friends and family. And normally we would be discussing news topics, but for our first couple of shows, we decided to just discuss topics that people have thrown at us. Thrown. So, here we go. So, in the world of contraceptives. April, August 2011, Obama put into insurance that they have to cover birth control and other forms of contraceptives. But um, now there's a big controversy over if this is uh, taking away religion or a Catholic thing because Catholics don't want to pay for contraceptives because that's obviously what they don't believe. But but what about this? 53% of all Catholics believe contraceptives are okay now? Or how about this? 98% of all women have had contraceptives in some time in their lives. So really, what is this taking away if the culture is changing to the fact that contraceptives are in fact okay? I think that the issue is a lot of people are making this um, solely a sex issue. And I think that that's a problem because um, it's not solely a sex issue because contraception can be used for um, health reasons. It can help with acne, ovarian cysts, cramps, really bad cramps. So I think that a lot of people are making it a sex issue when it's not necessarily 100% about sex issues. And I also feel like if we are like concerned about people having um, having abortions, this is something that we should be supporting because um, having contraception um, as covered in healthcare, it it helps to prevent the number of people having children. So it would also help to prevent the number of people having abortions. And um, also, this whole topic is. Um, I think that it's a distraction. I think it's a way to distract away from um, really, really important issues that we have in, in this country, like the economy and um, where we're at financially right now, and how tons of people are out of work, and you know there's no jobs, um, and, and nothing's happening, nothing's moving, and nothing's happening as far as the economy is concerned. So I think that this in a way, it's just kind of like a smoke screen to take people away from the real issues that are um, actually important. Yes. And if you want to downsize, I mean, let's face it, kids are going to have sex, adults are going to have sex. If they're married or not, people are going to have sex. So mm -hmm. why do we want to bring back the 1960s idea of abstinence into our schools of healthcare? And not teaching them anything else about STDs, just say, hey, stay away from sex altogether. Obviously, that didn't work in the first place. Yeah, I think that assuming that kids are not going to have sex these days is, is naive. And, you know, we, we don't have a choice anymore. All that we can do now is try to prevent um, less STDs and less babies uh, being born into families that can't take care of them or um, having to be raised by people that can't take care of the kids because the abstinence thing um, is not going to work in the generation that we live in today. I think that there's too much that we're up against um, as far as the media and the things that they see every day and how, you know, even in the cartoons, there's sex in the cartoons these days. So to, to, to think that we can tell kids to not have sex period, I think that that's, that's just being naive. 
Yeah, and there's really nothing in the Bible that says you have to be married to have sex. Really? Really. If you look at it, I mean, to become one, it doesn't say you have to be married to have sex. It just means you're going to have sex and you're going to become a guy. So, yeah, in, in my view, I just think that the whole contraception thing is just a smoke screen for getting to the real issues and real problems that we have today in America that go much deeper than who's having sex, who they're having sex with, when they're having sex, and whether or not it's covered by health care. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And one more point I'd like to point out is that we are not all Catholic. Mike Huckabee from Arkansas, who's a Baptist minister and the televangelist, I think you're on your rocker, off your rocker when you say that we're all Catholic today. Because we're not, and we don't all have the same beliefs. So, sorry. And I, for one, you know, if you don't want your tax money going to something like this of contraceptives like half the people didn't want the war to happen at Iraq so why are we even making this debate or argument yeah I don't know the context of what Mike Huckabee said or what you know led up to that comment but uh, sometimes I think that we just say things without thought to try to get people to try to get the evangelical Christian crowd on our side, mm -hmm. and sometimes, you know, it's just not the right thing to say. And, and I don't understand the whole, you're all Catholics thing. I didn't know that. But freedom apparently, is being taken away! <laughs> freedom is being taken away! Well, apparently we... we yell it loud enough, someone might listen, or they might just shake their heads and walk away. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that's all about. I, I, I can't comment on that. All I can say is that sometimes we say things that, you know, are for the purpose of getting the evangelical Christian crowd on our side, and sometimes it could uh, come across as, as being a little bit crazy. Because mm -hmm. that seems a little bit crazy to me. I don't know why anybody would say that. But a crazy. Like I said, I don't know the context of the conversation or why, where that came from, or why you would say that. Yeah, me neither. He's crazy. Um, next topic. So we're moving on to our next topic, and our next topic is from a friend of mine, and it was he wanted me to talk about Oprah because he always says that someday I'm gonna be like Oprah. She will be. We're gonna have our own TV, <laughs> not where it's called the Spiral TV. And I'm, I'm not. Gonna have that. Yeah, she does. We're not gonna have that. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, Oprah, Oprah, Oprah. Okay, I don't really have any two big opinions on Oprah. Um, I personally don't watch Oprah. I don't watch her network. I don't watch her TV <laughs> yeah. shows. Um, the only thing that I do watch is Oprah's movies. And I watch The Color Purple. I love The Color Purple. That's such a good movie. If you've never it. seen The Color Purple, you need to watch The Color Purple. And that is such a good it. movie. Okay? It's sad and, and, and um, it's hard to watch, but it's it's a really good movie. It's a really good movie. Everybody should go and go and watch Color Purple. I was going to say go and see it. Like, Color Purple has been out for like 20 years or something like that. Something like that. Yeah, I've never it's, watched it. It's a movie. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Um, I just remember a comment when Oprah, that Oprah made, a, I don't remember how long it was, but she made a comment about how Jesus Christ wasn't the only way to to God that you can get to um, that you can get to God any way that you that you please mm -hmm. I guess that's what she was trying to say and um, I didn't really agree with the, the statement that she made but I'm coming from a Christian perspective I can see how other people can agree um, coming from other perspectives but I, I come from a Christian perspective and I, didn't, I didn't really agree with what she said and um, I didn't really watch anything that she put out after that yeah, um, I know she believes in the path to enlightenment, 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 and did not say that word. And she also has very, she, very big roots to her family. She always, um, I know she did a special on finding her family one time and this and that, and now she has her own network. And really, the only thing I watch on there is Our America with Lisa Ling, and it just brings up 
Oh um, yeah, Cassie watched it. Yeah, it's really good. She liked it. So I remember when Lisa Ling was on the View. Yeah, I remember when she was on um, Channel One. I don't remember. Oh yeah, Channel <laughs> One. If anybody does anybody remember Channel One, they used to make us watch that in school every morning. Oh, they sure did. If you remember Channel One, leave a comment below or like this video or do something just to let us know that you remember Channel One. Yeah. I hated that. Maybe we'll okay. Talk about it. I just could not stand Channel No. Like every I mean, I understand that you want kids to be up with like current news and stuff, but every day all of our class time would get taken up. They brought on the guy from Newsboys. Before and he looks like a girl. Everyone was just like, "Who is this transvestite?" <laughs> man? <laughs> on Channel One, like seriously, no one knows the Newsboys unless you're in that Christian sect. First of all, <laughs> second of all, I was too embarrassed to say I knew who he was. So I just sat down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. If, anyway. if you were, seriously, if you remember Channel One and how irritated you were when you had to watch it, I don't know. I had I had a couple kids in my class, but those kids were too good that love to watch. And then they, they would a little get excited. Page report, but he gets your credit. Right. They would get excited when that came on. I would just be like, Oh my gosh, I can watch the news at home, and it's so cheeky, and and they, I, I don't know. Okay, that that's not even the topic that we were talking about. We were talking about Oprah. Um. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I love Oprah because she's an amazing woman that made an amazing career and now mm -hmm. has an extraordinary, like, empire. She's going to run for and president. for her to be a black woman and, and do what she's done, that in itself is, is, is incredible. Mm -hmm. But um, I think for me, that's the only thing that makes me love Oprah. But I don't know a lot about Oprah because I don't watch her. I don't watch her and I don't Right. You know. I don't watch her much either. I just was never into Oprah. Like my mother I I grew up watching what my mother watched and my mother never watched Oprah. Mad respect, but sorry never watched you. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I didn't watch Oprah, but I do have so much respect for Oprah and what she's done and everything that she's done and I love when her and Tyler Perry get together and mm -hmm. oh yeah it's just beautiful it's a beautiful union mm -hmm. I love two amazing people who, who built a, an empire yeah exactly good for them yes um so actually we don't have it that's the only topics that we, we we're gonna discuss today um, later shows will be more stuff. We'll talk about more things going on. This is our first ever video for this show and we're, you know, we're just, we're just happy and grateful that you watch if, if you did watch. Please like the video, subscribe, leave a comment, let us know what you think. Um, it doesn't matter what, you know, it doesn't matter if you like it or don't like it. Please, please, um, either like or dislike or you know subscribe to the channel yeah to both of our channels because we we're going to gonna put this on both of our channels and um we want to thank tyler for making the intro to this song tyler alma green please go and check out his channel the link is in the description below um he just wanted to shout out to him and thank him for making that audio and mm -hmm. um yeah tyler Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 B